what's going on guys thanks for coming back for another video today we're going to be installing the carbon fiber uh, Cybon hood and uh, I got Bo on his way over he's going to help me pull off this super heavy thing right here I think this thing weighs like 60 65 pounds something it's crazy heavy and uh, get that guy on what I want to do is I want to weigh these guys to see what the difference is see how much weight I'm going to save because I'm pretty sure this is at least half as heavy as that right there and uh, yeah um, the new carbon hood Got a uh, ceramic coat. I'm gonna ceramic coat it with. Uh, uh, I've had I've had good luck with the uh, the C quartz uh, ceramic coatings. So we're gonna throw some of that on there. If you've never done any ceramic coatings, it's pretty simple, but uh, it's gonna be the best thing for carbon. So, but yeah, I've had that thing for like about a month. I've just been looking at it, sitting in the corner. And it's just it's time to get it going. Um, it actually took me. Uh, that's the third hood. Uh, two other deliveries that showed up damaged. And uh, that's the third one, so get that on there today. As soon as Bo gets here. All right. So <laughs> we're gonna use an egg roll box to hopefully aid us in not breaking my window. I mean, it should move until I bolt these two. So a little bit of tape and a floor mat, and everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be good. So we're gonna walk it straight to your truck? Or what's the plan? Yeah, go throw it in the yard. <laughs> I don't know how you took the Civic one off by yourself in your driveway. How did you do it? I mean... Oh, I just let the corner smash into the car. <laughs> with, the, with the hood prop up, you know? Like, I just undid one side and let the corner rest on the cowl or whatever, you know? I just didn't care. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Cool. Alright, so about two fifteen. This is not the most accurate scale ever. You wanna hand me the hood? Can you hand me the hood? Yeah. Yeah, can you get the number? Yeah. Alright. 265? 265. Okay. So what is it? Uh, about 50 pounds, right? Two, 215, 265. <laughs> Let's do some math. 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pounds. Get the carbon 50 pound hood. So he weighs 215, the hood's 265, so that makes the hood about 50 pounds. Any guesses on the carbon hood? It's at least half. At least, really? Damn. You think it's gonna be at least half the weight, so like roughly 25 pounds. You're good. Watch your bush. Just below 250. So. 35 pounds? About 34, 34 pounds. Okay. Cool with that. But it looks a hell of a lot cooler. It actually, if you come pick this thing up, it feels lighter than that shit. Oh, really? <laughs> Talking about the latch, yeah. You could just do some of those hood clips, the flush mount clips, those are clean. If you want to cut into your thousand dollar hood. Oh, it's good, hood clips. 
Yeah, I have the hood ones right here. I didn't buy the arrow ones, but I might go to the arrow ones because it has these. Oh, cool. Because what they say is that this can break. No. Oh. And you lose the hood. <laughs> Damn. Right. You good? I'm good over here. Whoa, there's a crazy gap. Is it big? Big. It big because it looks like it wants to touch the fender here. I don't know, we're good. It had, on one side, I don't remember what side, it had a big ass gap, dude. Because it's the old car. Yeah, that's a pretty big gap. It looks, it looks fucking awesome, though. It looks though. good right on the side. Oh, that's, yeah, that's badass right there. But I think I could probably move the fender. I'm going to to move the fender. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty gap. Gotta fix that. Cool. Whew, it's hot. We got a grill. Got the All right, cool. flex bumper. I just gotta get some paint on that bumper and we're good. Yeah, there's some gaps we gotta fix, but there's some little gapage over there, but get it all situated here in a little while. And what's your channel? The Late Model Tech. All right, so there's still some gap here that I need to do some little bit of adjustments, but I'm really, I'm pretty happy with the way it's, it's fitting so far. It looks, looks pretty good, especially with the new bumper. But the next step is gonna be a little tedious because the latch doesn't line up at all. Gonna have to jack with that because the GTST and the GTR are totally different. And that's gonna affect my intercooler, the way it's mounted. So to do some adjustments, the uh, release here, it's gonna need to get cut also. So I'm gonna mess around with that for a little bit and see if I can get it right. I might actually have to build, build, uh, replace this with a piece of aluminum, the bar that comes all the way that down. It goes all the way down here because it's probably not gonna be long enough because the latch needs to go back and up. But we'll see here in a little bit. But yeah, it looks totally different. It looks a lot better with the grill in there, but it's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. All right, so this side body carbon fiber hood is uh, not clear coated, and what that means, it doesn't have a UV um, coating over the top of it. So out there in the sun, it will fade really quick. I know that you've seen some uh, carbon fiber hoods out there that just you know turn yellow and green, you get all rough and stuff. I mean that's basically because the carbon fiber hoods they don't come with any clear coat or UV coating. So to uh, the best thing to do would be to take it to a body shop and have them sand this and actually clear coat it and you'll be good to go. Um, that's what you like find with uh, like OEM carbon fiber pieces like the roofs and stuff on like M3s. Um, those pieces are clear coated and they're protected with the UV coating with in, inside the clear coat. Um, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just ceramic coat this thing. Uh, the ceramic coating is going to give it that UV protection and the ceramic coating is supposed to be good for about five years. Um, if you're not going to ceramic coat a carbon fiber hood, um, you're supposed to wax it like every three months or use like a sealer every six months and that will protect it. Uh, really the best thing, uh, the second best thing to uh, getting it cleared would be ceramic coating. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, CarPro brand right here, okay, and it's the CQ Quartz 3.0, okay. It's really easy to use. Um, Basically, what you're going to want to do is make sure that whatever your cur you know, whatever your ceramic coating is perfectly clean and perfectly in the condition you want it to stay in for the next couple of years. But step one is going to be uh, use some type of product that will take the uh, any type of grease, wax, anything, everything, strip it off. Okay, and I have this product here. It's Q2M Prep. Okay, everything I'm using will be down in the description box. This stuff will completely strip it, and it's supposed to leave kind of like an anti-static finish on it. Uh, we're going to do this first, and then put on the ceramic coat. Inside the box comes with this applicator here, and some of these disposable cloths that the uh, ceramic actually goes on. I'll show you how that works here in a second. And then after you, after you ceramic coat it, you have about 30 minutes to apply um, their reload product. And what this does is this helps out with... The, uh, the beating action, the cleaning action uh, on the ceramic coat. This makes it a little bit slicker, so when you go to wash it, it washes a lot easier and all the dirt and water just come 
flying off it real quick. That's kind of what gives it the uh, that ability, I guess. Okay. But you have about 30 minutes to apply this after you do the ceramic coat. The reason why is I think because you want this to bond with the ceramic coat. Uh, the ceramic coat is going to need like 24 hours to set up before it's fully bonded. Um, you can't get it wet. You don't really like supposed to drive the car. The thing's not going anywhere, so you got to wait for it to kind of set up. Uh, I got some chemical guys, some brand new microfiber towels. We'll be using these. Okay. So yeah, again, step one is going to be to go ahead and strip everything off this thing. It comes with a little applicator here and some of these disposable little cloths. You're just going to get a card. Stick it on there like that. Just work it in there. No problem. Get this as tight as you can. Okay, once you get it on there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to work on uh, pretty much like a little section at a time okay we're gonna go ahead and apply a nice even coat and we're gonna wait no longer than two minutes for it to dry then we're just gonna pull it right off but you're gonna want to work at little sections at a time so you don't kind of forget where you're at goes on really easy. Should get all these edges. Get it down in here. Get you up here. <clears throat> then you can see it all depending on how uh, hot and humid it is out here. Um, two minutes is probably max. You'll start to see it kind of rainbow up a little bit. Um, if it was cooler outside, uh, it might take a little bit longer. But it's real hot and humid right now, so a little less than two minutes would probably be optimal. Just, can just buff it off real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving around the hood. Yeah, but I don't know if you can see that on camera right there, but you can see how it's kind of rainbowed colored right there. But that's about as long as I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pull it right off. Yeah, and then, so that's 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 pretty much it for this little section here. I'll just continue going throughout the whole hood. Do that. I'm gonna try to do it within 30 minutes so I can spray the reload on there. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Again, uh, subscribe. Uh, the next video is going to be on the hood pins. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. You guys take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend.